Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Stashkina and this week we are continuing to talking about wafer paper decorations and how to make a wafer paper decor for your cakes. Last week we talked about making wafer paper ruffles. I hope you already watched this tutorial. If not, link in the description below. You should probably watch that first before starting with this one and today I'm going to teach you how to make gold wafer paper flowers and how to arrange them in a wreath on your cake so let's begin okay so to make my decorations my gold flowers I'm going to use a piece of wafer paper this is regular wafer paper this is searching brand 0 0.27 millimeters but you can use any thin wafer paper for this particular application I think even double thickness or like 0 0.35 millimeter thickness wafer paper would work because we are not going to add a lot of texture just color and a little bit of shape and to color my wafer paper gold I'm using rockem gold rockem gold is non-edible but non-toxic so for this application it is fine and here I have just a little bit of vegetable oil this is corn oil you can use any mild flavor or no flavor almost clear vegetable oil and I'm going to mix my dust my gold dust with my oil I will use in two ways liquid application and dry so I will keep my gold dust here and I'm mixing until I get this gold liquid almost like liquid gold paint and the beauty of uh, using oil for wafer paper because oil won't, won't melt your wafer paper and it won't get misshapen even if uh, I did a few tests even when I used alcohol this is vodka you can see the wafer paper still a little bit misshapen but uh, applying oil it stays flat so that's what we are going to do and to color my wafer paper I'm using just a piece maybe 10 centimeters by 6 centimeters or like 4 inches by uh, 2 and a half inches and I'm going to apply a thin layer of this oil mixture and you can see it's still a little bit transparent and to make it a peak or like gold gold I'm going to dip my brush into my dry petal dust and apply on top if you want to color your wafer paper in advance so you want to make your decorations for example prior to assembling a cake you can color and just put it in between few sheets of wax paper or parchment paper and place it in a plastic bag and your wafer paper will be fine and you can see how gold and shiny this wafer paper gets I apply my color on a bumpy side because that's my preference so I like the texture but you can definitely do this and apply to both sides or you can use it and apply it to a shiny side let's do this to both sides again I'm applying thin amount of my gold oil I'm using same brush to apply dry dust you can use this technique to apply any color to your wafer paper but I find using oil with metallic dusts like gold or silver works the best now my wafer paper is painted with gold and to prevent this from transferring like you can see here I'm going to take just smallest amount of cornstarch on my fluffy brush and gently tap it to prevent my gold dust from transferring try to use as less cornstarch on your brush as possible because it will make your wafer paper not as shiny probably as it just using oil but I don't want my color to transfer so that's why I'm using a little bit of cornstarch and to cut my wafer paper and to make my flowers for my wreath I'm going to use this hydrangea punch 
you can cut it by hand, you can use a machine, but if you're going to use a machine, for example, Cricut or Silhouette, I would rather cut my flowers first and then apply this uh, gold color because you don't want to dull your blade and you don't want to mess up your machine. But for the craft punch, it's easier to clean, so I'm going to use it right away. And I'm trying to feed as much flowers as possible. And this is going to be my decorations for my wreath. To shape these flowers, what I'm going to do is just simply take one flower and shape it when it's dry to make it not so flat. Just be careful if your wafer paper is dry, just be mindful of the amount of pressure you apply to your wafer paper while you're shaping it. I will place my flower in different sizes as I'm going to assemble them on the wreath. I know that my craft punch has four different sizes, so I will place it like this. Uh, because my wreath is going to be assembled also from smallest to largest flowers. I'm going to prepare more flowers in different sizes in this gold color, and then I'm going to show you how to assemble your gold with a paper wreath on a cake. And to make my monogram and my wreath and transfer this to a cake, I printed out this monogram and this oval shape. And what I'm going to do is cut just one out. I will take a regular pencil and gently paint around a few lines. So what I'm doing, if you can see, I'm trying to mark where my design is on the front side. And then when I'm going to press this against my cake and use the same pencil to outline my design, it will transfer onto my cake with the same light gray pencil marks. And it is going to be enough to then outline and use gold to paint on the cake. Now that I have my design ready and uh, I use the pencil on the back side, I'm going to place it on my cake and I will try to center and make sure it is straight. And I will take a few pins to fix it to my cake. And these holes will be covered with our flowers later. And because I have those pencil markings on the back, I'm going to use my pencil to outline and transfer those lines. And now when I have my outlines, I'm going to remove my template and I should see my design on my cake. Let's see. It worked. So I hope you can see that I have a light lines here and this is enough for me to start painting with gold. And I'm going to use the same Rokem gold for my design for my monogram, but I'm going to mix it with vodka or any hyper alcohol because it evaporates much faster and I think it is much easier to paint. And I'm using a double zero brush, so this brush is really, really thin. And I will mix a little bit of dry gold dust with alcohol in my palette to make a thick paint. And sometimes when you're painting with gold on fondant, you might need to apply more than one layer. I will start with just one layer and light application and then if I need I will apply a little bit more of this gold paint. I'm not going to paint my outline, my oval part, because this is where my flowers are going to go. And now what I have here is my design, so my monogram. And if you, while you were painting your gold or silver monogram on your cake, made a mistake, like I have here a tiny, tiny spot of gold outside my lines. Uh, what I'm going to do, or what I find easier to clean, is to leave it to dry and then use an exacto knife and just gently scrape your... If you need to... Um, 
fix a larger mistake, you can dip your brush in vodka or any alcohol and just gently wipe it off. So I will do it later after my design is fully dry. And what I have here is my flowers. I sorted them by size because my craft punch, the one I use, Hydrangea, uh, has four sizes. That's what I have here. If you're going to use different punches, just try to find like at least three different sizes. And I have a little bit of piping gel here. That's what I'm going to use to attach my flowers onto my cake. And I will start with my smallest petals. I will put a little bit of piping gel onto my palette because I find it's easier to dip my wafer paper into piping gel and stick it this onto a cake. So this is going to be my first. Then I will apply a little bit more, but gradually I want to go from smaller flowers to larger flowers. Here is my size number two. And in general, I'm trying to place my flowers around my outline, but not exactly on it to make it visually more interesting. So I'm, I'm spacing them somewhere around my lines. But then, after I place all my flowers in all my sizes, I can go back and add different sizes in between. And you don't need to use flowers, you can use circles or, for example, hearts to make this design. I think it's really easy to do and it's very versatile. So now I have my general shape, but I see that here I have few more empty spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flower and maybe cut it in half or remove a few petals just to make it easier to place in between. If you didn't color your wavy paper on both sides like I have here, I'm going to just fold it over apply a touch of piping gel and insert somewhere under my larger flower. And you can obviously stack different sizes and you don't need to place them in exact same order. And now you have it. Now you know how to make this gold wafer paper wreath and how to place it on your cake and even how to paint this gold monogram. This cake is going to be uh, placed on a white ruffle cake we made last week in the previous tutorial. And I will put a link down below if you want to learn how to make white wafer paper ruffles and assemble them on a fondant covered cake. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this tutorial and let me know in the comments below what color would you make your wreath because I think even in a pink or maybe silver it would be very beautiful for your wedding designs or birthday cakes. To subscribe and like for the YouTube algorithm it helps me a lot and I'll see you next week. My name is Anastashkina. Bye bye!